Letters from God and His Christ, Volume 7 The Last Trumpet Before the Time October 21st, 2010 From the Lord, our God and Savior The Lord's Words Spoken to Timothy During an Online Bible Letter Study Fellowship For all those who have ears to hear Thus says the Lord God, The trumpet I am blowing is revealed to the wise, and enters into the heart of the humble, causing the penitent to shudder, and the rebellious to burn with contempt. It is the trumpet of old, yet remains the trumpet of this time also. For my servant is soon entering his seventh year, and my word and this trumpet soon after. Lo, it is the seventh, and shall be blown for seven without ceasing even as this seven sounds continuously before the time. Behold, is it not also that which I have revealed, which remains holy in my eyes, the fulfillment which has been long, followed by three, which shall come in rapid succession, the fulfillment thereof short, yet everlasting, even as the seventh, with an eighth, yet to come? Therefore, thus says the Lord, I have trumpeted the call to awake, yet who has heard my call? Who has given heed and walked according to the will of the Lord? Wicked and slothful generation, deaf children, you have forsaken me, for you have filled this world with every kind of evil. Behold, you have reached new heights in wickedness. Thus I must blot out the kingdoms of men. I must wipe them away and cast them from my sight forever. Never again shall they arise. Never again shall the nations do evil in my sight. Never again shall they walk proudly, shaking their fists toward heaven in their self-proclaimed glory. Never again shall they revel in all these perversions and practice all these abominations, seeking always to satisfy their ever-increasing lusts as they pursue evil gain. For I am the Lord, and I have seen it. Therefore I shall speak, and this trumpet shall sound continually until the time, and when it is finished, another shall sound, and oh, what a cry shall be heard, oh, what bitter weeping shall fill the streets, and like the sound of a plague of locusts devouring every green thing, so shall the sound of gnashing teeth devour the air. Behold, it shall break out in every corner with a great noise. Yet I shall continue to speak, and in my hot displeasure I shall pronounce judgment upon them. And whether they will hear, or whether they will forbear, the voice of Yahuwah shall be heard. For I tell you the truth, this trumpet before you is but the beginning, a whisper from the Almighty, a still small voice, spoken in the ear. For the day is coming quickly when I shall speak my name aloud. Behold, I shall open my mouth and into the air I shall speak. And the heavens shall tremble and the earth shall shake violently. For none in the earth know me. Not one sees me as I truly am. Yet all shall know me. For by my judgments they shall know. And in my mercy they shall see says the Holy One, the God of Israel, the God of power and fierce jealousy, the God who has come forth from his sanctuary to punish, the God of judgment. Behold, the Mighty One of Jacob has spoken in his authority, yet few have given heed, few have bowed down to give me glory, few have cupped the ear. Therefore I shall speak louder, and the sound of my voice shall increase throughout the earth, and the days shall be turned into darkness before the great and terrible day of the Lord. For in my anger I shall turn my face against this awful generation, and in the fierceness of my wrath I shall bring down my hand hard upon all peoples of the earth, and all these tall mountains shall crumble under the weight of my presence, and all these lofty hills shall be bowed down, Behold, the giants shall fall, says the Lord. They shall be crushed beneath the weight of their fallen riches, says the Almighty. Therefore look among the nations, O foolish people, and watch 
O most wicked generation, and be utterly astounded, be horribly afraid. For the God of recompense is risen up, the God of glory is come out. Behold, I am risen up in my vengeance, I am come out to repay. For I have looked, and I have seen. Yes, I have beheld your hearts, and I have looked upon all your doings, and I have seen it. For nothing is hidden from my eyes, neither are my ears dull in hearing. Therefore be dismayed, O unfeeling generation. Be dismayed, all you who have shown no mercy towards your neighbor, and tremble in fear at the indignation of the Lord. For behold, I shall kindle a fire in your courts that cannot be quenched, and it shall rage until every abomination is consumed, and every wicked way perishes from before my face. Let their faces be blackened with soot. Let the multitudes fall in their weariness, says the Lord. For who can endure the day of the Lord? Who is able to escape the wrath of God when it comes? Who has the stamina to flee continually without respite? Yet those who wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint, as it is written. My people, tears of great sorrow fill my eyes, as flames of fire are shown up behind them. For my face is crimson with fury, and my heart burns in the depths of my rage over that which is before my eyes, day and night. Persecution, murder, and death fills every corner. Behold, sin overtakes the land as a flood, bursting forth from the hearts of men. My people are slain and disemboweled and paraded through the streets, hung upon the walls as trophies and spoils of war in the name of the God of Abraham, according to the name by which I am called among them. Yet I am not their God. And though I am even God alone, Allah is not my name. For this Allah is no God. He is an idol, the works of men written in a book, a graven image. O sons of Ishmael, you have all become sons of perdition, adopted children of Satan, from which your religion came forth. Your prophet was deceived by the devil. At no time did he hear my voice. I sent no messenger to him. You are all deceived, acolytes of Satan, sons of Cain. Did I not choose Isaac and send Ishmael away? Did I not preserve Isaac from sacrifice and provide the lamb? Was not Abraham's fear of the Lord perfect among his generations? Yet you do not fear me, and for my people you have no regard. Is Israel a home-born slave? In your eyes? Did Jacob steal your possession by treachery? Or is it you who has rejected your inheritance? Thus you are as reprobate silver to me, and Israel shall be treasured among the nations. And he who sits upon the throne of David shall be Lord over you forever. For on Mount Zion there shall be deliverance and holiness to the Lord. The descendants of Isaac shall possess your possessions, and the house of Jacob shall rule the land, for my olive tree shall overshadow all nations. Blessed, therefore, are all those who eat of it, and seek shelter beneath its branches. Yet you only conceive violence in your heart against your neighbor, and murderous thoughts against your own brother. Behold, only hate fills your heart, and abhorrence runs through your veins like poison, a wild man without conscience. Thus your iniquity has not ceased, and your transgression is increased beyond measure. For it is written, Your hand shall be against every man, 
and every man's hand against you. For you are full of pride, and your eagle swells like water upon the flood plains of Egypt. Thus the pride of your heart has greatly deceived you. Therefore I shall leave you desolate in the day of recompense. And in the day my witnesses stand up, upon you there shall be no rain, neither the former nor the latter. For I am against you, says the God of Jacob. I have set my eyes upon you for harm and not for good. For I shall surely return your reprisal upon your own head. And as you have done, so shall it be done to you. Shall I not cause the land to tremble before me, and sift you from the holy lands, dividing you asunder, allotting you your portion among those appointed to wrath? For I shall surely slay all your mighty men of battle. Behold, even I shall bring your generation to a sudden end, leaving not one male among you above twenty years of age. For I shall surely turn your land into mourning, and leave all your women childless. Yet among the heavy laden, those who are severely oppressed because of you, I shall have mercy. For from among them I shall bring forth a remnant. For I have seen the hearts of the battered, and I know the minds of the oppressed. I have looked upon those with no hope, of whom you held captive from birth. I know who longs for me. Behold, even I shall come forth from my place and deliver them, even every captive. For the tears of my people are great because of you, and the women among you weep because you are brutish, O sons of Ishmael. Thus I shall deliver them from your hand, and you shall be sent away, for you have not known me, says the Lord. O despicable peoples, repent, and turn back from this wicked way you have chosen. Yet you will not turn, nor will you forsake all these abominations. For you do continually plot evil against your brother, and your hands do not cease from shedding innocent blood. Your works are a foul stench in my nostrils, a detestable lump under the skin, a putrefying sore that refuses to be healed. You are all dead in my eyes. Shall I not repay you for all these things, even double? says the Lord God. Shall I not come down and tear you to pieces for what you have done? says the God of Israel. Shall I not destroy your lands and persecute your people with the sound of my voice, day and night? Shall I not move swiftly and grind them to powder beneath the feet of the Holy One of Israel? Shall I not come down and consume and destroy? Thus it shall come to pass in that day. You shall fall, never to rise again, and it shall be as though you had never been, declares Yahuwah the only Lord of hosts. And no more shall there be any gods before me. No more shall anything made by the hands of men stand proudly before my face. Thus says the Lord God of Israel, My people are slain in every corner. Behold, they murder my messengers and tear my little ones to pieces without remorse. Beloved, what would you have me do? What more could I have done? I poured out my life for them, yet they refused to drink. My body was broken for them, yet they refused to eat. For I tell you the truth, they have utterly forsaken me, me, the fountain of living waters. And for what, beloved? For what? Look at what they do. Look how they greedily lust after every contemptible word and deed, filling their bellies with all this disgusting food, performing every abomination which I commanded. They shall not do. They are a vile people, a most deceitful and wicked generation, the likes of which has never been seen. Yet I love them still. Even so, I must not withhold my punishment, and my judgment must be satisfied. Evil 
must be utterly destroyed. It must be consumed from before my face. For if I do not do that which I have purposed in my heart to do, and if that which is stored up in the storehouses of my wrath is not poured out, mankind would surely destroy themselves by their own hand, leaving the garden uninhabitable. Therefore I am come with a great trumpet blast to awaken the nations, to shake this world to its core. Behold, the Holy One shall shout with a loud command, and the light of this world shall be taken. The whole earth shall be shaken, a mighty earthquake, the wrath of the Lamb revealed. Now hear the word of the Lord, those who say they are my people, who are not my people. Thus says the Lord. Behold, my name is forsaken among the generation of my wrath, for my children have forgotten me days without end. Even my own people, who say falsely that they are my people, do lie, for they are not my people. For my ways have become an abhorrence to them, nor will they obey my commandments, and to my voice they refuse to listen. They are a people of deceits, a people of two faces, who run after every unclean thing. For they say, As the Lord lives, we are delivered to do all these things. Yet I shall surely deliver them to wrath. And as I live, says the Lord, they shall not escape the day of my anger. For they have polluted my name and desecrated the glory of the Holy One of Israel in the eyes of the people, taking that which is right and good and profaning it, as they continue to put me to an open shame, to the confusion of many faces. Therefore I am against them. Behold, I have set my face against them, even against all who blaspheme my name and corrupt my word for their own gain. For they have profaned my holy things, and by their doings have they brought shame upon themselves. Thus I shall continue to rebuke them, for I am against their every word and deed. And when I discipline them, I shall not spare. Behold, I am against you, O churches of men, for my ways have become an abhorrence to you. Yes, you proclaim it by all your filthy traditions, of which I hate. And by every corrupt doctrine you uphold, do you set your faces against me. Behold, by all you say and do is your rebellion put on open display. Your uncleanness is clearly seen. Thus your ways have become an abhorrence to me, says the Lord. Therefore, I shall surely correct you and bring upon you swift discipline, even recompense for all your evil deeds, and where you have caused my name to be blasphemed among the nations. For with a strong hand and a firm rebuke shall I turn you back from your ways and recover you from your transgressions. Behold, with many strong words and a stretched out hand shall I abase you. As a mighty wind breaks off the branches and a swirling wind topples the tall trees, so shall the sound of my voice break you and the strength of my hand humble you in the day of the Lord. With a great thrashing this way and that shall you be broken in pieces. Behold, the world shall be turned upside down in my fury, and the nations shall fall on their side under the weight of my punishment, says the Lord. For I have surely declared it, and I also shall bring it to pass, even before the eyes of this arrogant and most wicked generation. For I am the Lord. For many have played the harlot, many have set themselves up as an authority among men, even to speak as though they were God, proclaiming the will of the Lord with many lofty and vain speeches. Yea, with a great multitude of words they speak as though I had sent them. Yes, they speak in my name, though not one of them has heard my voice, nor did I send them. Therefore I have numbered their speeches and remembered their every idle word which I have accounted against them. Yet my people are not at all ashamed of their offenses, nor will they give heed to my words 
which I have spoken to this generation, nor are they willing to turn from their sinful ways. For my people do continually transgress, and do always rebel against me. Thus they are not my people, says the Lord. Behold, in one accord they persecute my prophets, and slander my messengers. Lo, they fight against me in their own names, saying, We shall be justified in our actions when the Lord comes to punish these messengers and repay these false prophets, for we hate the sound of their voices, and their words torment us without cause. Therefore, thus says the Lord, I am indeed come out to punish, I am indeed come down to repay, each one according to their words which they have spoken against me and my messengers, each one according to their deeds which they have committed against me and my prophets. For they provoke me with their words, and by their deeds have they brought my anger to the full. They have forsaken the fountain of living waters, and want no more to drink, neither will they swallow. They cast down righteousness to the earth, and turn justice to wormwood. For they hate the one who brings the Lord's rebuke to the gate, and abhor the one who speaks a true message from God. Lo, they tread upon those who walk uprightly, and shun those who obey the Lord's commands. Behold, they stone their own brothers, and injure their own sisters with their words. Therefore, they shall come to know me in my bitterness, for I hate all their lavish houses. I detest all their sacred assemblies, nor do I savor their feasts. Their traditions are an abhorrence to me, and their holidays I despise in my zeal. Thus, when I stretch out my hand against them, and lift up my voice against their congregations, they shall fall. Even they shall be the first among those who fall, says the Lord. Tell me then, by what means shall they rise again? For there shall be no place that is not made desolate, no place which is not consumed by plague and famine. There shall be no open place, for destruction and calamity shall overtake the whole land, says the Lord. Behold, what an obscene thing this is before my eyes! What a horrible sound has entered my ears! What a detestable sight! is on display amongst this people who are not my people. What an awful spewing is brought forth from this modern generation. My name is blasphemed because of them. In all the world, my name is despised and used as a cursing. It is treated like an abomination which offends, a thing to be cast off and forgotten, a name which shall not be mentioned. Behold, even these among the churches of men have endeavored to make the Holy One of Israel in their own image, molding him by deceitful hands to their own hurt. A molded idol, a graven image, which they have given a name to hide their guilt. Desecration! Even the very name for which they are called. Lawlessness! For they excuse sin in the name of the Holy One and forsake my commandments and my every decree in the name of the Messiah, the Righteous One. They are a polluted people, rejected until the time be changed. And according to that which their own hearts reveal, shall I deal with them, for they testify against themselves, says the Lord. For they have not known me, neither do I see of myself in them. Yes, by their hearts and by their doings, they do always testify against themselves. For in their hearts they say, Look upon us, see how we have become righteous in our own eyes. Even by all they say and do, they declare, We have forsaken the law of the Father in the name of the Son. Yes, He has made it possible for us to do so. And by His permission do we forsake His every statute and ignore His every decree that we may pollute the name of the living God without ceasing. Foolish children, diseased and awful generation, you are all captives. None of you are set free, though you have signed the document of your own sentences. 
which shall be severe. Behold, you remain on the side of your own judgment, nodding your heads in agreement. Therefore, according to the number of your churches shall be your judgment, and according to the number of your adulteries shall be your punishment, O house of harlots, O daughters of fornication. And according to the words of your own mouths shall be the severity, and according to this word which you have rejected shall be the length of your refinement. Behold, I shall not spare the rod, nor shall the strength of my arm be held back in my discipline. Therefore, thus says the Lord against every foul tree which bears rotten fruit, enticing my people to eat, that they might stretch out their hand in rebellion against the Lord. Behold, you have joined yourselves to another, and in his ways you have chosen to walk. Yes, you have all become the children of your father, the devil. Thus all you keep hidden and surmise in the dark shall be put on open display, for the day shall surely declare it, and all you have built shall crumble, all your works shall burn, and with a great crash shall you be cut down, says the Lord in his indignation. My beloved children, why do you rend the heart of God? For you have surely torn the heart of my flesh, by which I have loved you beyond compare. For you have dealt with me deceitfully, and by treachery you have led my children astray. And for what price? For what gain? Thus says the Lord, You have slandered me, and have brought against my messengers and my servants the prophets, which I myself have sent to you, many evil and false accusations. Behold, you accuse your brethren day and night. For I have looked upon the fury of your hearts, by which you are enslaved. I have beheld your bitter ignorance, and all your perverse thoughts and desires. And I have seen your arrogance, how it overflows your pride-ridden hearts. Yes, I have looked upon you, O churches of men, all you Christians who fight against me, going out and coming in, seeking always new ways to stone my prophets and persecute my servants, the elect. I have seen that which dwells within you, and oh, what a sight I have seen! What an obscene thing this is before my face! Demons going out and coming in! Demons finding sanctuary in the churches of men! Shall I not tear down? Shall I not repay? Shall I not destroy every polluted sanctuary and overthrow every city which stands proud against me? Lo, my heart is very heavy over all these people called by the name of the Anointed One. Yet they do not cease from arousing me to anger. They are drunken. Their own bitter wine has inflamed them. Behold, they are eager to do that which I have said they shall not do. Yes, they love to indulge in that which is against me. For they run to their houses, which are falsely called by my name, to hear every speaker which comes in by treachery, speaking to them in their own names. They run and sit down, and cup their ears to listen, that they might hear just one tittle to justify their evil deeds, to soothe their itching ears, so they may continue to dwell gladly in their transgressions as they seek to coax others into their rebellion. Behold, I am against them. I am against any man or woman who seeks to uplift their own name, saying, The Lord has sent me, and it is the Lord's will. It is the will of the Lord. Hear what the Lord wills for us. I am against all who place stumbling blocks before the feet of my people in my name twisting my words to perpetuate persecution toward my servants and my messengers. Behold, those who wish ill upon my bride shall be left in astonishment, left all alone in their turmoil. They shall be bowed down with their backs bent, crying out, When did I become a harlot? When did I become estranged from my husband? How is it I am now come into all this punishment? Am I not a queen? having done that which is right? 
For I have defended the name of the Lord and his word, and received much gain. Look at all these on my part. Yet here I sit in ruin, in a puddle of my own tears. O Lord, why have you forsaken me? Why does death now stalk me as the prey? My name is Yahuwah, yet you children in the churches have not known me. Indeed, you have forsaken me days without end. Behold, my name is judgment and wrath, yet you children of disobedience do not fear me. My name is Yahushua, mercy and great love. Yet you who were to be my bride refuse me, neither have you kissed me upon my cheek. And if you are my bride, why have you not given yourself to me and taken my name, proclaiming you are mine in joyful expectation? Yet you are ashamed of me and refuse to look upon my face, for as I am, so shall I be, and this is not at all to your liking. For you prefer the face of your molded image, and have fallen in love with your graven images. Thus you are estranged from your God, far removed. Therefore the face of your husband is turned from you, for you have not ceased from playing the harlot with many lovers. Even with many tears he has shut the door to you, until the time be changed. Return to me, my children. Come to me in the day and cool my tears. For my heart is burdened because of you. My countenance has fallen on your account. Tears run down my cheeks and fall heavily upon the earth, a most bitter lamentation. For I, even I, have loved you, says the Lord. Cry out, therefore, and I shall send to you my beacons. Behold, by their hand have I called to you many times already. Yes, these are the very same over which your hearts have waxed gross, the very same by which you shall receive these words anew, even the word of my mouth. For I am not without mercy. And though of your houses I shall make a full end, I shall not make a full end of you. And though I break you, and you lie down in death for my name's sake, I will not forsake you utterly as the wicked. For they shall go into perpetual darkness, a void of lifeless nothingness, forever. No, I will not leave you to the worms who devour, nor allow your flesh to rot, nor shall any man tread upon your corpses. Behold, I shall gather you to myself, and you shall wail upon my bosom with many tears, until your soul runs dry, and you are healed. And never again shall you walk in the ways of the world and men, nor in evil to your own hurt. From me you shall never again depart, and in my life you shall walk all of your days, until time has lost all meaning, even forever and ever, singing songs to the praise of my glory. And you shall be my joy, says the Lord who made you, even he who purchased you in my own blood. For as the Son is one with the Father, and the Father with the Son, so shall you be one in him, and him in you, forever. Thus, as it is written, so shall it be. I will dwell in them, and walk among them. I will be their God, and they shall be my people. Amen. Therefore, this trumpet which is of these seven, and is also the seventh, shall be blown loudly until the time. Then all must grow quiet at my command, making way for the next to sound. I am the Lord. <laughs>